Hello everybody and welcome to North American Elite Wrestling. This is your host Danny Jackpot. We are live in Mexico City, Mexico for Lucha Fiesta. And this is the United States Tag Team Championship match starting off the night. Biff Andreas making his way down the ring right now. Half of the United States Tag Team Champions along with Alex Snow. And I know that we had a little bit of audio issues to start off or to end the last on the kickoff show, I should just say. And I don't know if you guys heard me, but Alex Snow was having flight issues getting to Mexico City, Mexico. Was is on his way to Mexico City, Mexico. I thought I had seen him earlier in the back, but Biff Andres said he has yet to see Alex Snow because of a contract and title offense here in Mexico City, Mexico. Biff Andres will compete, and we're told that Alex Snow possibly could be here. If not, Biff Andres will go at it alone. Biff Andres just made his entrance. Got Biff, he asked you, here in North American Elite Wrestling. I'm being told that Alex Snow is not in the building, and he is not here to compete, but he is a qualified contender to compete in this match still and will be in this match but it's going to start off as a handicap match if Alex Snow does make it on time or if he is in the arena he needs to get down for this matchup Biff and Jace is in trouble here as the Samurai Dragons make their way down in the ring mentioned a kickoff as I said earlier Alex Snow had flight issues getting to Mexico City Mexico something along with a passport issue I was I was told as the Samurai Dragons Chi Kai Kai in the white, Chi in the black. Here challenge, challenging Biff Andreas and Alex Snow, or should I just say now Biff Andreas for the United States Tag Team Championship. Biff Andreas, Chi, they're going to be the two men to start off this matchup as referee the Todd starts the, rings the bell. This match has started. Biff Andreas is at it alone, but fall away slammed by Biff Andreas. Here in North American Elite Wrestling, Lucha Fiesta, seven big matches here tonight. And I mean, I won't lie, if Biff Andreas was still with the bloodline, I believe Zack Star would have made it to Mexico City, Mexico, not to say anything bad about Alex Snow, who's also a good friend of mine. But this has got to be a letdown for Biff Andreas. And Biff Andreas has already lost a set of tag team championships here in North American Elite Wrestling to the Samurai Dragons. So the Samurai Dragons have some history of taking championships from Biff Andreas. As the Samurai Dragons, a former Lucha Fiesta, or I mean a former Luchador group here at Lucha Fiesta, now is the Samurai Dragons more of a striking style. You see it right there, Biff Andreas going for some kind of move. Pile driver right there, Biff Andreas nails Chi with it. This is for the United States Tag Team Championship. And a shoulder block right there stops Biff Andreas in his tracks. But wait a second, a good right hand by Biff Andreas off his back. Biff Andreas looking to make Chi humble with the camel clutch. And the clutch baby doesn't make Chi tap out as Biff Andreas lets go of the hold that he barely had on. Smart of Biff Andreas veteran there. Nailing a DDT, stomping on the ribcage now at Chi. Now, this is a one on one matchup right now. I'd say Biff Andres is, at, is outscoring Chi or whatever you want to say. He's definitely out wrestling Chi here, but Chi about to make the tag to Kai, and this is where I mentioned now this is the problem. Kai and Chi, the two men against one right now. As you see, a hip toss right there by Biff Andreas. Goddamn hip toss. Biff Andreas stomps from the thigh of. Kai. Biff Andreas now going after the arm of Kai, going after the limbs here of the other man. Biff Andreas going at a two on one. Not saying that Biff Andreas won't be able to win here tonight. Biff Andreas going have a nice cutter right there. And a nice big just kick to the back of, of Kai right there. And then a knee to the back of the head. Biff Andreas. Again, getting the better of both men here in this matchup. Surprisingly, Biff Andreas going for a vintage move of his. The inner Nagy nails it here. Biff Andreas going for the cover. One. No, oh, it only gets one. I can't believe it. That's the thing in this handicap matchup. There's a lot more left in the tank of Kai. Is Kai back up to his feet after a kick? Kai leaves the ring, though. As they try to draw Biff Andreas here in the Samurai Dragons. But Biff Andreas... The veteran outsmarting the two men here in this tag team championship match for the United States tag team title. As Kai now 
Once again, trying to send Biff Andres to the outside of the ring, does so successfully. As the Samurai Dragons now looking on here outside of the ring, referee the Todd starts his count. Biff Andreas sent into the rear sting, steel steps, and then Kai just jumps right on top of him in the rib cage. And Kai now attacking Biff Andreas. Biff Andreas though, throwing Kai right into the down table, right on the side of me right here. This is interesting. Biff Andreas. Oh, now tossing Kai right in those steel ring steps, returning the receipt from earlier. And this matches for the United States Tag Team Titles. Referees count. Continuing, the fans are absolutely loving the action here. And North American League Wrestling. Wait a second, Alex Snow just jumped over the. Wait a second, Alex Snow is attacking Biff Andreas. What's going on? Is that Alex Snow? That looks like it's Alex Snow. What is he doing to Biff Andreas? I thought he was having. I thought he was having flight issues. I thought he was having problems with his passport. Alex Snow's attacking Biff Andreas here. What's going on? What was this attack for? The fans can't believe it here in Mexico City, Mexico. As the fans, one of the says, as, as the fight's going on, the Samurai Dragons now going after Kai and the Alex Snow, but Alex Snow gets the better of them in the ring. Cutter three. What? What did I just miss? What? We have new tag team champions. What did I just miss? We're going to replay here, back in the ring. We didn't see this action at close up here. As you can see now, Cheetah Legal Man got the tag from Kai. And these slip kicks to Andreas. One under the chin, goes for the cover. After that, itself from Axe Snow on the outside of the ring. Biff is coming for three, out of nowhere. Such quick action. And in Mexico City, Mexico. The Samurai Dragons have won the United States Tag Team Champions. Chip. They are now the United States Tag Team Champions. Chi Kai and Chi, the very first team in North American Elite Wrestling to win both sets of Tag Team Championships here in North American Elite Wrestling. These two men in Mexico City, Mexico. And I don't know if these fans are too happy with what they've seen. Kai and Chi, though. I don't think it matters to them. At the end of the day, they are the champions now of the United States, the tag team champions of the United States here in North American League Wrestling, Kai and Chi. We have to move on. Here at Lucha Fiesta, the Canadian Tag Team Championship is going to be on the line when Steven Ray and Angeliana, one of the best tag teams of the last decade, take on the damage gauge. Some would say the most popular tag team of the last decade. The most decorated or the most popular about to meet up here in 2020 at Lucha Fiesta, Mexico City, Mexico. Canadian Tag Team Championship is on the line. We are not in Sunrise, Florida. Steven Raid and Angeliana making their way down the ring for this tag team matchup here. As you can see, the Mexico City, Mexico fans, not a big, not big fans of Mr. Triple Crown, Steven Raiden, and the Nomad. Andrew Lee and Anna, these two men collectively forming a tag team, had a year or two away from each other for a little bit, but now back together, have won over 10 tag team championships. Has Andrew Lee and Anna and Steven Raiden looking to win another one here tonight, challenging the damage gauge here in this matchup. Andrew Lee and Anna, Steven Raiden. Andrew Lee and Anna left. Steven Raiden on the right. Canadian Tag Team Championship matchup on the line here. Steven Raiden and Juliana waiting for the damage gauge. Steven Raiden, a former world champion in New WWE and New NAW. Very decorated superstar himself is Steven Raiden. As here comes the challengers, or their, or their, their, their opponents tonight, the champions, I should say. Suspect on the right, Matt Eichhorn on the left. I don't know if you need me to tell you who these two are. The most popular tag team in CAW, quite possibly ever. Matt Eichhorn, the suspect, the damage gauge, the Canadian tag team champions. The suspect is a former North American Elite Wrestling heavyweight champion here in NAEW. Matt Icorn has won the heavyweight championship in New WWE. Has won championships in WDF, 
also has Matt Icorn. Also an NAW and an NAW. Matt Icorn is no stranger to winning championships. Also a Canadian tag team champion here in North American Elite Wrestling. About to be challenged by Steven Raiden and Andrew Liana here in Mexico City, Mexico. And I won't lie, this one could classically be the the match that you don't see coming that will deliver a classic, is what I'm saying. I think this, these two teams will give you a five-star matchup right here. Suspect and Matt Icorn are the champions. The damage gauge. Last time we had seen them, they actually defeated the men we had just seen win the Tag Team Championship, the Samurai Dragons. So the damage gauge quite possibly could be not just the very best tag team in Canada, but possibly the very best tag team in North American League Wrestling. As they don't forget, they just knocked off the United States Tag Team Champions, as I mentioned. Canadian Tag Team Championship here on the line. Andrew Liana going to be the legal man for his team. Matt Eichel going to be the legal man for his team. Bell is rung by the Todd. These two teams, only one men can, only, only one team can walk away with the championship. And Angeliana immediately makes a tag to Steven Raiden after knocking down Matt Eichhorn. And Steven Raiden and Angeliana, the decorated tag team that I mentioned of the last decade, the most decorated tag team in the last decade. Steven Raiden, big back suplex to Matt Eichhorn right there. Climbing him down to the mat and stomping him on the rib cage and the knee. Steven Raiden now going after the back of Matt Eichhorn. And this could have been the game plan for Steven Ray and Angeliano right away. It's maybe double team Matt Icorn if they got him as the legal man first. Another back suplex going after the back of Matt Icorn in the ribs. And once again now, Steven Ray making that quick tag to Angeliana. These two men showing their great tag team work here is now Angeliana picking up Matt Icorn and going after the knee with that shin breaker. Angeliana, the nomad. Now well, that's just kind of like muzzle lock after Matt Icorn, and I don't know how effective this is, but Matt Icorn does seem to be hurting from it there. Classic wrestling right there by Angeliana, but Steven Raiden, I mean, by, by Matt Icorn able to stop whatever Angeliana was possibly going for that shoulder lock once again. Knocked him down, Matt Icorn makes a tag to the suspect, and the former North American League wrestling heavyweight champion is in the ring, but gets knocked down with the drop kick. Angeliana. The suspect. Two legal men in this matchup now. Angeliana, also a former MMA fighter. A man who's a former MMA fighter turned into the, uh, a biker in his later life, in his current life now. Oh my god, that fisherman suplex, that spinning fisherman suplex by the suspect. And now just stomping on the nose of Angeliana is the suspect right there. Angeliana trying to stop the suspect. The suspect. Working over Leanna in the corner of him and Icorn. The damage gauge. Suspect nails that neck breaker on Leanna. Looking at tagging his partner now. Matt Icorn, a legal man with Andrew Leanna in this matchup. Matt Icorn now. Snap mirrors down Andrew Leanna and possibly returning the favor from earlier. Going for that shoulder lock of his own on Andrew Leanna. Andrew Leanna, though, I don't think it's phasing Icorn as much as it did. Leanna, or only facing Leanna as much as an Icorn earlier in the match. Leanna once again now going for a shin breaker and nailing it on Matt Icorn. It seems like the back and the one leg of Icorn seems to be the uh, targets of Stephen Raiden and Angeliana in this matchup as Angeliana got a two right there and almost became the new Canadian Tag Team Champions did Stephen Raiden and Angeliana. And Matt Icorn. No. Try to go for some kind of move there. Angeliana reverses Angeliana now. Leanna suplexes Icorn again. That back being worked over here in this matchup. Steven Raiden wants the tag. And Leanna suplexes Icorn. And then I think he's going to make the tag now. With Matt Icorn down, he does so. These two men working as a well-oiled tag team against the damage gauge, and we could very well have new tag team champions for the second time here tonight. And the second straight matchup. I don't know how many times in North American League Wrestling has that happened, if that's ever happened. 
Two new champions on this very same night. Stephen Raiden. Hazmat Icorn in a bad way in the ribs, the back of Icorn, even the leg. Tria low position, Matt Icorn's been hung up in. And Steven Raiden has Icorn hurting here. And oh my God, what a backcracker, rib breaker right there. One knee in the back, one knee in the ribs. Steven Raiden now. Oh, what a big senton bomb. Steven Raiden, one, two, three, no, two. It was only two the top says. I thought we had new tag team champions. I can't believe it! Steven Raiden with a blue thunder bomb! Come on, up for the top of the in order! Two! Three! No! Icorn kicks out at two once again! How is Matt Icorn kicking out? What a tag team match here! And once again, the back of Matt Icorn being worked over here in this tag team matchup. Steven Raiden now going to the top rope here. Steven Raiden. Oh my god, corkscrew 450 splash, Steven Raiden won! Damn it, Suspect breaks it up where we went definitely had new Canadian Tag Team Champions. And I can't believe this matchup. Steven Raiden going for some kind of move for Matt Icorn now. Somehow able to reverse Matt Icorn going for the on Hawaiian Hawaiian Nightmare and he's gonna nail it! Out of nowhere, Matt Icorn nails his finishy maneuver to cover one, two! Raiden kicks out at two, are you kidding me? I can't believe it here. Matt Icorn, DD team, Steven Raiden down in the mat. Steven Raiden somehow kicked out. Suspect trying to get back in this matchup, but the referee, the Todd, has controlled order in this matchup. Finally, it looks like here, after two, maybe three near falls, won by at least both teams, this match continues on. Matt Icorn has Steven Raiden in a bad way here. God damn, what a hit toss by Matt Icorn. Steven Raiden goes flying halfway across the ring. The suspect, not a legal man in this matchup, is attacked from Matt Icorn. And Steven Raiden able to reverse whatever that suspect had planned. Possibly that Clarion from the back there. Steven Raiden then was able to sidestep in and then nails a drop kick. Able to tag in Leanna now. Leanna and Suspect, the two legal men in this matchup. And you might as well say this match might be starting off fresh because the other two men have taken a lot of punishment. Andrew Leanna had stopped whatever the suspect done there. Tornado DDT almost of a out of reversal by Andrew Leanna. Andrew Leanna. And oh my God, just beating down the suspect in the corner with some covering like blows. Andrew Leanna trying to hurt the suspect here. Leanna now going for a DDT, but gets reversed. Lord of Light suplex, one, two. No, it only gets two, a suspect. I can't believe this matchup. Suspect tags it, Matt Icorn. Icorn and Leanna, two legal men in this matchup now. Icorn has Leanna against the ropes, goes for the American whip. And what's he playing here behind Leanna? Oh my God, back suplex with some, with almost a bridge and then a knee to the back of Andrew Leanna's head. Matt Icorn, what's he got planned here? And wait a second, tag the suspect, tag team maneuver here. God damn, double team hit toss by the damage gauge. Set for stretch by the suspect. Will this be it? Raiden breaks it up though. And I don't know. Maybe Leanna would have tapped out there after that huge impact maneuver. Suspect working over the back. Maybe we're returning the favor for Icorn all match. Suspect now. What's he going to do here to Leanna? Suspect has Leanna in a bad way on the top rope. The suspect maybe looking for a super back super black. This is going to hurt. Oh my God. Both men crash down to the ring mat. Leanna's got to be down and could possibly be out, but the suspect, oh, goes for the back flip kick, but nails, but misses it, I mean. Leanna able to sidestep it. And suspect able to nail knee to the face, though, almost a Muay Thai-like knee. Suspect now going to the top rope here. What's he got planned? The suspect, top rope plancha, nails it. Money shot almost one, two. Leanna kicks 
Suspect gets the three. I thought Leanna kicked out. What a match. What a match. I thought Leanna had kicked out. Wow, what a three. No, Leanna's shoulder did not get out. What a three count there. Money shot by the suspect. Wins the damage gauge this match up here in Mexico City, Mexico. And what a so close a contest I thought Leanna had kicked out. What a contest here in Mexico City, Mexico, as we look over the replays. And look at the blue thunder bomb, Matt Icorn shockingly kicks out of this. Muay Thai knee-like maneuver by the suspect, catches Leanna, at the, then a money shot. Suspect gets the three. The damage gauge successfully retained the tag team championship here tonight. And I got to take my hats off to Steven Ray and Juliana. That was a great, great, great tag team matchup. Matt Icord and the suspect definitely earned that one here tonight. But still, your Canadian tag team champions are the damage gauge. And I'm proud of my two buddies right there, Matt Icord and the suspect here in Mexico City, Mexico. Come up big. And we got to move on here. Maple Leaf Championship match. Evan O'Shea and... Silver Prince, Evan O'Shea being the challenge by Silver Prince. We had already seen Evan O'Shea earlier tonight assault Mike Ballander during his entrance. As we are being told that this is for the Maple Leaf Championship matchup. Evan O'Shea, after his attack of Mike Ballander earlier, Mike Ballander continued to wrestle his matchup after he attacked during his entrance and won that matchup. I got to take my hats off to the junior weight champion, Marcus Matrix, Mike Ballander, and Dale Von Deuce for winning that matchup after that free match assault. Mike Ballander was actually asked to leave the arena and did so under the jurisdiction that he will get a Maple Leaf Championship matchup at the very next event. And we were, and he, we, after his win tonight, after everything he's done in his North American League wrestling career, Mike Ballander is going to be given that shot. Will it be against Silver Prince? Will it be against Evan O'Shea? Only time will tell here. Silver Prince, the fan favorite here in Mexico City, Mexico. Silver Prince here in his hometown of Mexico City, Mexico. And I, I don't want to take anything away from Silver Prince here as he makes his entrance here to this low Mexican ovation. I don't, as I almost, as I don't want to take anything away from Silver Prince's chances of walking away here in Mexico City, Mexico as the Maple Leaf champion are huge. The fans are behind him here. Silver Prince, Evan O'Shea, Maple Leaf Championship matchup here. As we're about to see a man who we've already, as I just mentioned already, we've mentioned we already seen one time tonight. I saw Mike Ballander. And that was and that was some revenge for what happened to him the week prior at our, our other event, Cage Den, after Evan O'Shea escaped the cage. He got assaulted by Mike Ballander. As Evan O'Shea makes his way down the ring here in Mexico City, Mexico, as the fans absolutely love Evan O'Shea. But man, as the fans absolutely love Evan O'Shea, I gotta, I do gotta say that or that ovation for Silver Prince was a lot louder. And I think that Evan O'Shea might have an uphill battle tonight. But when doesn't Evan O'Shea have an uphill battle? The Maple Leaf champion, Evan O'Shea. Going to be challenged by Silver Prince here tonight. Silver Prince, a former ITF television champion, a former ITF tag team champion, is Silver Prince. Also a former NNAW hardcore champion is Silver Prince. Silver Prince, a tribute to the, 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 the late, great Silver King. Died wrestling in the ring. Evan O'Shea, Maple Leaf champion, challenger. I'm, I'm champion. That's twice I've said that tonight about the, about the champion. Being challenged by Silver Prince is Evan O'Shea, the champion. Evan O'Shea was able to knock off in a huge win last time we'd seen him. Nice seal cage match. I know she got a big win in a steel cage match last time we seen him, I meant to say. Was able to defeat El Noveno and Billy Bowers. 
escaped the cage in that triple threat matchup. Evan O'Shea, Silver Prince, one on one, referee the Todd, Bellas Bronga. Evan O'Shea going after the arm of Silver Prince to start off this match, out wrestling Silver Prince to start off this opening contest, or start off this opening part of this contest. And Evan O'Shea working over the shoulder and the arm of Silver Prince, a much smaller man, trying to use chain wrestling, trying to make Antonio Rodrigo Silver Prince the much smaller man, but doesn't do so there. Silver Prince now with a headlock on to Evan O'Shea. Now with a hammer lock right there, or a wrist lock, I should say. Doesn't do so, or, or, or both men almost even right there. Irish whip by Silver Prince though, and then nails a knee to the rib cage. And I, these men just went from technical to Silver Prince striking now, not not being too technical right there. Wanting to become the Maple Leaf champion here in this contest for the Maple Leaf Championship. Evan O'Shea. Able to stop Silver Prince right there. Michinoku Driver takes Silver Prince down the matchup mat. But Silver Prince able to stop Evan O'Shea, sweeps up the leg. And now drives the point of the elbow right into the nose of Evan O'Shea right there. And that one had to hurt. As Silver Prince, big neck breaker on Evan O'Shea right now. Nailed it. Silver Prince. Going for a neck breaker once again on Evan O'Shea and nails it. Silver Prince has the advantage here in the Maple Leaf Champion in this contest. Silver Prince now, what's he going for here? Oh my God, Pile Driver nails it. Evan O'Shea down the mat. Silver Prince shaking the back now of Evan O'Shea. And now. Going after the knee of Evan O'Shea. Silver Prince, definitely the aggressor in this matchup here. And as I mentioned, Evan O'Shea always in an uphill battle. And the fans absolutely loving Silver Prince being, on the, uh, being the aggressor here. Evan O'Shea getting reversed, thrown off by Silver Prince. Looking to become new champion here. I'm looking to become the new champion. Two only gets dosed to Silver Prince here in Mexico City, Mexico. As Silver Prince. Has the home crowd advantage most definitely here. Evan O'Shea definitely hurting here. And oh my god, I pile driver once again on to Evan O'Shea. How is his neck still in one place? Uno! And oh my god, after dose, Evan O'Shea was able to grab a rope, get a rope right there. Evan O'Shea might definitely been done. Silver Prince though. Still trying to stay on the offense here. Brings Evan O'Shea down in the middle of the ring. Now, going for a spinning toe hold right here. Trying to make the Maple Leaf champion tap out. A spinning toe hold. I haven't seen this in a while since the, since the late great. To I don't know if Dory Funk is dead. I don't think Dory Funk is dead. But was this the Funks used to do that maneuver? Spinning toe hold. Oh my God. That's the knee to the head right there by Silver Prince. And Evan O'Shea has just been getting, his, just been getting the fight taken to him all match. Honestly, I don't know how Evan O'Shea is going to be able to come back from this one. Big shoulder tackle right there by Silver Prince. And Silver Prince is looking to become the Silver King here tonight. Oh, and a big rip breaker. Silver Prince. Cover right there on Evan O'Shea. One. Done. Evan O'Shea somehow kicks out at one. I don't even believe this kid's got. I mean, he's not a kid anymore. About my age, Evan O'Shea. But I mean, I can't believe this guy still still got the heart of Evan O'Shea just showing right here. And Silver Prince with a third neck breaker in that matchup. And I don't even think Evan O'Shea. I think this match has been 90-10 in offense. Silver Prince somehow, but Evan O'Shea refuses to stay down. That's why he is the Maple Leaf champion still. Evan O'Shea now able to reverse some kind of maneuver of Silver Prince. Evan O'Shea now. Big sit-up power bomb out of nowhere. Evan O'Shea hasn't nailed much moves, but that move was huge. O'Shea now. Corkscrew moonsault. Standing. One. Two. Oh, my God. Only gets one and a half. Evan O'Shea can't believe it. You're going to have to put more offense in, O'Shea. 
Celo Chris has been putting the fight into you. That was one of your first big impact maneuvers all night. Evan O'Shea now. Hurricane Rana takes down Silver Prince. Dragon Sleeper now by Evan O'Shea trying to make Silver Prince tap out here. Silver Prince though, the knee to head. A second knee to the head fights out of it. Oh, but wait a second, Evan O'Shea. Low drop kick to the same knee that kneed him in the head, making Silver Prince pay. Karma right there almost. Silver Prince though has Evan O'Shea once again in his grasp. And Silver Prince close lining Evan O'Shea right over the top rope. Silver Prince, oh my god, goes flying over the top rope of the top rope, Suicida. I can't believe that. Go, breaking out all the stops here in Mexico City, Mexico in front of his home crowd of people. His home people in Mexico City, Mexico. Strongly behind Silver Prince here. Want him to walk away the Maple Leaf champion of the world. Five neck breakers in this match. Oh, but Silver Prince also feeling the pain there of driving his back and neck down the map, but not as much as Evan O'Shea, I imagine. Big match up here. Referee's count at five. Would be a shame to see this match end by count out. Silver Prince telling O'Shea to get back in the ring. O'Shea, at the count of seven, does get back in the ring. This match continues on for the Silver Prince. Wait a second, Evan O'Shea might have just been given enough time to recover that he needed. Silver Prince gets nailed with the brain buster, the soul renaissance. Evan O'Shea might have been playing possible one, two, no, Silver Prince kicks out at dose. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Evan O'Shea can't believe it. Silver Prince, Evan O'Shea, both on one knee and this match continues. Evan O'Shea now behind Silver Prince, nails a back suplex. Evan O'Shea feels like he has the momentum on his side here. Nails a big forearm, O'Shea nails another big forearm, Not nails Silver Prince with a sling blade now. Evan O'Shea. Oh, big kick to the swallow the spine. O'Shea and Silver Prince here. Meet your knuckle driver by, by Evan O'Shea. <laughs> Turning Silver Prince around now. Looking for this Texas Clover Leaf. Nails it. This very well could be it. Evan O'Shea trying to make Silver Prince tap out with another one of his finishing maneuvers. Silver Prince refusing to tap out. Evan O'Shea couldn't keep the hold on anymore. As you can see, this Mac taking his taking his toll on both men. O'Shea with a cover, but only gets two. I can't believe this. Evan O'Shea can't believe it. Both men on one knee once again. I can't believe this matchup. Evan O'Shea, Irish whipping. Silver Prince in the turnbuckle there. Running up a cup by Evan O'Shea. Evan O'Shea going to the top rope now. What could O'Shea be planning here? Evan O'Shea, oh, Silver Prince trying to get back up to his feet. But Evan O'Shea jumps down, catches him in the bread basket with a hell of a kick. Wasn't going to take any chances there in this Maple Leaf Championship matchup. That shows a veteran-like instinct of Evan O'Shea. Leg lock now, the submissionist, but no, catches one in the face with a foot. Uh, Silver Prince able to reverse that huge move. Whoa, so many neck breakers by you. Silver Prince, I'm surprised Evan O'Shea's neck isn't broken. But Evan O'Shea will reverse whatever Silver Prince had planned there. Irish whip once again in the turnbuckle. These two men, these two athletes, Mexico City, Mexico. Evan O'Shea put Silver Prince in the tree of wool. And Evan O'Shea looking for maybe the donkey stop nail and the donkey stopping. Evan O'Shea. I mean, the Silver Prince by Evan O'Shea. The action, so fast, so exciting, so thrilling. Only one man can walk away, the Maple Leaf champion here in Mexico City, Mexico. And, oh my God, I have the Hurricane. Yes, I don't even know what to call that. Shades of the Hurricane right there, with eyes of the Hurricane. And Silver Prince somehow trying to get back up to his feet. Evan O'Shea not allowing that here. Evan O'Shea now, 
Oh, gets kicked off by Silver Prince. Silver Prince picks up O'Shea. These men fighting. The crowd absolutely can't believe it. Oh, wait a second. Evan O'Shea out of nowhere. Just, just, just swept the leg of Silver Prince. And then a, a standing corkscrew moonsault out of nowhere. Swept the leg of Silver Prince and jumped on the top. So Renaissance wants to get by O'Shea. Silver Prince is down. Uno, dos, tres, we, oh my god. Evan O'Shea retains the Maple Leaf Championship and we have a classic here, everyone. What a matchup. What a match by these two great superstars, these two great individuals, these two great athletes. It was one hell of a contest, but after it all comes down to it, Evan O'Shea nails not just one, but two soul renaissance to win this matchup. And Evan O'Shea now contractually obligated to meet the man who's been assaulting him for the last few weeks, Mike Ballander, at the very next event for the Maple League Championship. I think Evan O'Shea will be very happy to know that I think he's celebrating not just a championship win, but knowing that he has his match with Mike Ballander at the next event coming. We have to move on here. El Noveno, Lamarcus Carter, one-on-one -on -one contest. Both men, former All-American champions. Lamarcus Carter actually took the All-American title from El Noveno in a triple threat matchup. Why this match is happening. El Noveno, Lamarcus Carter, one-on-one. -on -one. This should be a great contest. And as El Noveno makes his way down the ring, I would like to remind everyone and thank Lamarcus Carter. Lamarcus Carter, who was not scheduled for the very last show, came down and joined me for commentary. Actually joined me in the commentary booth for the entire hour and a half for Cajun. It was great. Y'all got to hear Lamarcus Carter. got to hear his opinions on what he thought was going on in the CAW world. Lamarcus Carter has some beef with Smokey. So Smokey taking that All-American Championship from Lamarcus Carter. Don't forget we all know that. All-American Championship has a decorated history. Not just El Noveno, not just Smokey, not just Lamarcus Carter. Let's not forget, though, that the world champion currently, Nate Farron, is a former All-American Champion. As Lamarcus Carter makes his way down the ring. Lamarcus Carter here in Mexico City, Mexico, not liked by these Mexican fans against El Noveno. I, I could definitely see why El Noveno fits more of that luchador lifestyle that these Mexican fans are used to, the, the Latino fans are used to having here in Mexico City, Mexico. I can definitely see why El Noveno is being liked against Lamarcus Carter here. As Lamarcus Carter said that he's going to be climbing the ranks of North American Elite Wrestling here, he's going to all start off the night. Back to possibly the All American Championship to that shot against Smokey. And the bell is wrong. El Noveno was unsuccessful. And oh, referee the Todd gets knocked down by an Irish whip right away. You gotta definitely be watching where you're at in the ring at all times. It's never safe to be that zebra in the ring. As Lamarcus Carter, El Noveno lock up here with some chain wrestling that. Hammer lock by El Noveno. Got him a back suplex on the Marcus Carter. Both then former All American champions. Never know what you're going to expect from either athlete. As I was mentioning, though, El Noveno lost the Maple Leaf Championship matchup in his last appearance. Also was, also was with Billy Bowers in that matchup. They both lost to Evan O'Shea, who we just seen successfully retain the Maple Leaf Championship again tonight. Lamarcus Carter being that down to one knee by the arm. El Noveno working over the arm of Carter. Lamarcus Carter standing drop kick, six foot seven. That man's got some big legs and some big speed, and it definitely caught El Noveno right in the face. Lamarcus Carter now gets reversed as El Noveno once again, the quicker athlete, goes behind Carter. Carter having his problems with Noveno, but Carter finally now able to out wrestle Noveno a little, get behind. Noveno and now trying to wrench the gut a little bit is Lamarcus Carter showing that strength and height advantage but El Noveno now snap mirroring Carter out of it and then or snap mirroring himself out of it the knee and Carter right in the back to swell the spine El Noveno showing some great wrestling here against Lamarcus Carter here again going after the arm El Noveno's game plan seems to be known but Lamarcus Carter with two three big shots 
Uh, you got to check referee if those were open hand punches or not. Well, Marcus Carter, big running power slam, takes down El Noveno for the first time in this matchup, I believe. Now, going after the arm of El Noveno, maybe you're turning the favor. We see a lot of that here in North American League Wrestling, a lot of guys don't like getting attacked, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> don't like everyone's getting attacked. Oh, a sit-out suplex, almost like a gut buster by LaMarcus Carter, beautiful right there. <coughs> oh, but El Noveno able to fight Carter off. Carter going for some kind of STO, and El Noveno still just attacking the rib cage of Carter. Very smart, El Noveno back suplex, kips up El Noveno, the former All-American champion. Both men just, just have that distinct advantage of being All-American champions, both of them. El Noveno. Oh, big super kick by El Noveno, takes down the Marcus Carter here. Covered by El Noveno, Uno. Dos, no, I only gets two. Referee the Todd, calling two. Referee the Todd, having a long night here tonight. Got taken down a few times earlier. Got taken down right at the beginning of this matchup. You never know what can happen in the rest of the matchup. And El Noveno, what's he gonna do to Marcus Carter? Marcus Carter landing against the ropes here. El Noveno could be going for some kind of dry. Oh my God! Like a missile drop kick right there. That torpedo drop kick. One, two, go! And Carter gets his shoulder up in the nick of time. And El Noveno can't believe it here. Lucha Fiesta, Mexico City, Mexico. El Noveno. Lamarcus Carter, the, the battle of former All American champions tonight. Neck breaker right, El Noveno. Which means the ninth in Spanish. When it might mean like El Cinco and El Uno and stuff like that. And wait a second. Lamarcus Carter. Oh, big, big leg drop there, brother. Taking down El Noveno. And even though Lamarcus Carter, North American League Wrestling, just he as, as serious as he tries to be, always shows that showmanship lifestyle. Cause that's just the, that's just the style that he lives in. God damn I hit tossed by Lamarcus Carter on El Noveno. As serious as he can be, he always has a little bit of showmanship under his under his belt, does Lamarcus Carter. Lamarcus Carter now. Luthez press, shades of Luthez, and then just Totally just veiling some right hands. Only the two count. Marcus Carter shades to Luke Dez and the Stone Cold Steve Austin right there. Marcus Carter does whatever it takes to make that money here in the car world, the virtual wrestling world. As Marcus Carter snap mirroring Emma Vino down the ring. Marcus Carter. Has this headlock on it, El Noveno here. Lucha Fiesta, everybody. Will Lamarcus Carter walk away with a win with this headlock? Will he be able to somehow be able to get El Noveno to tap or maybe even get him to pass out? But El Noveno to fight up back to his feet. El Noveno then Irish whips Lamarcus Carter into the corner. El Noveno. Trying to pick up Carter here. Look at me planning here. Oh, wait a second, gets kicked off by Carter. Carter now. Oh, double act tail right up the top rope. Lamarcus Carter off the top rope. Spinning leg drop by Lamarcus Carter. Brother. Lamarcus Carter now. American whip. And Lamarcus Carter now puts Al Noveno in a compromising position on that top rope. And LaMarcus Carter could be looking for a super back, super flex. Oh, nails it. Carter with a cover. Uno, dos, trace, and no. A shoulder up by El Noveno and a kick out. I can't believe it here. What a matchup. Oh, and El Noveno get caught with that, with that big foot to the face once again by Carter. Carter then with a big face buster. Oh my God, cover by Carter after that face buster. Three and he gets it, oh my God. What a, what a match by El Noveno and Lamarcus Carter. As you go to the replays here, that hip toss shown by Lamarcus Carter. El Noveno with a great effort here in Mexico City, Mexico. But Lamarcus Carter nailing that, just that swift 
Kaching like maneuver that boom that face buster by Lamarcus Carter. And he didn't have to use the moneymaker tonight, but he used the Kaching. As Lamarcus Carter picks up a big win here. He got bloodied in this matchup. I didn't even notice that. At one point, what a fight. That was Brit. That was brought down to LaMarcus Carter. We have to move on here. Divas Championship triple threat matchup. We've been seeing Rachel Cross, Alexandria Marie, and Denise Parkinson all been having issues with each other. Well, actually, I should be saying the two having an issue with Rachel Cross tonight here in Mexico City, Mexico. No matter what, we're being told that this will be the final situation between these three the ladies to decide it because this is for the Divas Championship. Triple threat match. And it's for the Dragon Championship. Introducing the challenger from Denver, Colorado, Denise. Denise Parkinson making her way down the ring. One of two challengers here for the Divas Championship of North American Elite Wrestling, which is currently held by two-time Divas Champion Red Hood Rachel Cross. Denise Parkinson the girlfriend of Nick Gemini has a big opportunity here. Her and Alexandria Marie won that steel cage match at Caged In. A big win here tonight by Alexandria Marie or Denise Parkinson would, would mean a new Divas champion. As Alexandria Marie making her way down in the ring. And introducing the challenger from Baltimore, Maryland, Alexia Marie. Alexandria Marie making her way down the ring. Pop star Alexandria Marie. The second challenger here, the Rachel Cross's Divas Championship, which means the two thirds opportunity that Rachel Cross could not walk away. The Divas Champion here tonight. Pop star Alexandria Marie, the very first ever Divas Champion in North American Elite Wrestling. Denise Parkinson, the only lady in this matchup who does not know what it feels like to be the North American Elite Wrestling Divas Champion. Alexandria Marie would love to become the two-time Divas Champion and win the Divas Championship once again. But and if anyone has anything to say about it, it's going to be this lady making her way down the ring right now. The Divas Champion currently Red and Hood Rachel Cross. Introducing the champion, representing Vicious and Delicious from Hollywood, California. She is the Evan Marie. And I just realized that Little Red Red Hood, or Little Red, Little Red Rachel Cross, whatever she wants to call herself, Red Hood Rachel Cross, making her way down the ring she's from Hollywood, California. That would mean that she's the second North American Elite Wrestling champion from Hollywood, California tonight, making her way down the ring to Mexico City, Mexico. So got to thank Hollywood, California for giving us some great champions in North American Elite Wrestling. I guess Hollywood City, California, just uh, really, really producing the champions here in North American Elite. Divas Championship on the line, triple threat match. This should be interesting here. Mexico City, Mexico. And we know these ladies have been having their issues with each other ever since a tag team matchup was scheduled for collision course between these two teams of Rachel Cross and Lilith against the team of Alexander Renice and Denise Markinson. Those two assaulted. Alexandria Marie and Denise Parkinson before they even came down to the ring. Here we go. Divas Championship is on the line. Triple threat match. And we got the nameless referee in the ring for this one. And, well, I thought we might be seeing some tag team efforts by Denise Parkinson and Alexandria Marie. But Denise Parkinson going right after Alexandria Marie with the Bulldog. And then Anita Rachel Cross joining that She wants to become the Divas Champion. And nothing's going to stand in her way tonight. And a spine buster by him. Denise Parkinson, but Alexandria Marie now going right after, right after Denise Parkinson when she wasn't looking. Anything's legal in this matchup for the Divas Championship. Ha as she's going after like twisting the neck of Denise Parkinson is Alexandria Marie. Alexandria Marie now going after Red Hood Rachel Cross, the Divas Champion. And then going after the eye, Alexandria Marie will do whatever it takes to win the Divas Champion and we Divas Championship, and we know that. The very first Divas Champion. 
also has the skills, what it takes to become champion. We also know that. So nothing to take away from Alexander Marie. Rachel Cross, judo toss to Denise Parkinson, and going after Alexander Marie again. Rachel crosses, Irish whipping Alexander Marie. Big knee, to the skull right there of Alexander Marie, that running knee by Rachel Cross. Denise Parkinson now going after Alexander Marie. Divas Championship on the line. Roundhouse kick by Denise Parkinson on to Alexander Marie. Alexander Marie back up to her feet somehow, but gets caught with a spine buster. Maybe she should have stayed down. Cover one. Only gets one here in this matchup. And it doesn't even take the Divas Champion, Rachel Cross, to be involved in the decision. If that would have been a three count, Rachel Cross would have lost her Divas Championship without even being pinned. And that is the threat of a triple threat matchup here tonight for Rachel Cross. And anything goes in this triple threat match as all triple threat matches as I mentioned earlier. And Rachel Cross going after Denise Parkinson. What she got planned here? Oh, just tosses her throw against the top rope. Devastating right there by Rachel Cross. Rachel Cross misses a kick. Denise Parkinson back up to her feet. Divas Championship is on the line here. Oh my God. Reverse DDT right into the, right into the knee and then a neck breaker. Nice combination by Denise Parkinson. Draw kick on Alexander Marie. Denise Parkinson looking to become the Divas Champion, I believe. Spinning leg drop by Denise Parkinson. Denise Parkinson now picking up Rachel Cross. Divas Champion right now, but for how much longer is the question? Oh, wait a second. Rachel Cross reversing some kind of slam. And then grabbing her by the hair and slamming her right down face first to the mat. Rachel Cross will do whatever it takes to retain the Divas Championship of the world. We know that. And wait a second. Rachel Cross, this big very will be the Big Bad Wolf. She nails it. Rachel Cross nailing the Big Bad Wolf. But wait a second. Alexandria Marie standing over Denise Parkinson, making sure that Rachel Cross does not get the cover. Wait a second, now when Rachel Cross backs up, tries to sneak a cover in, but, but Denise Parkinson had gotten too much time to recover right there. Divas Championship matchup still. DDT by Alexander Marie, she goes for the cover on, on Rachel Cross, one, two. Oh, we almost had a new Divas Champion. Two by Alexander Marie. And close only counts on horseshoes and hand grenades. As the Divas Championship still on the line here. Oh, rolling elbow. I mean, rolling elbow by Rachel Cross. But wait a second. Alexandria Marie rolls out to the outside of the ring. Denise Parkinson nails a huge suplex onto Rachel Cross. And now this feud to our arm bar referee calls for a rope break. As, oh my God, Alexandria Marie back in the ring. All three ladies are up to their feet. Oh, wait a second, not very long. Rachel Cross is taking out the drop kick. And wait a second, Alexandria Marie trying to sneak a win here at Donald Stretch on, to, on to Denise Parkinson. But Denise Parkinson trying to fight out of it. Rachel Cross trying to roll back in the ring. Denise Parkinson able to fight out of that at Donald Stretch. As the fans are into this one, wait a second, what's going on? Lilith, what is she doing here? She's not supposed to be in Mexico City, Mexico. She wasn't scheduled for here tonight. And this is all completely legal. Wait a second. Oh, that big move in the ring by Rachel Cross. Lilith is making sure that Denise Parkinson doesn't break it up. What's going on? This is illegal. This is legal. I can't be. Oh, my God. Rachel Cross just screwed over Alexander Marie and Denise Parkinson. Rachel Cross, get with the cover, gets the three Here count is your with winner, Lilith blocking Evan. her off. Marie! Lilith retains the Divas Championship. I mean, I mean, Rachel Cross retains the Divas Championship thanks to Lilith's help here in Mexico City, Mexico. I can't even believe that. We have to move on. Ossie Andy is going to be challenging Smokey for the All-American Championship here tonight. And that's going to be... A huge contest, everybody. 
Aussie Annie, the challenger, a former Maple Leaf champion, a win tonight would make Aussie Annie the first man to win both the All-American and the Maple Leaf Championship. Aussie Annie, we've seen challenge for a World Heavyweight Championship before, on successfully. Aussie Annie has what it takes to be a champion, and we know that. Smokey, though, is a veteran of the CAW game like no other, as Aussie Annie makes his way down the ring right now. Aussie Annie, the challenge tonight here. After he could win the Mr. win the night, maybe he's going to be the All Australian Championship. You never know what Aussie Annie can do with that championship belt. As all respect goes towards America, that's why he makes a living here in American wrestling. The Australian, the man from the all back, Aussie Andy. It should be interesting to see what happens to Aussie Andy in his North American wrestling career as it progresses to possibly be the All American champion here very soon. Already a, a Maple Leaf champion to his own credit. What hell of a Maple Leaf championship reign, I must say, also, could Aussie Andy have? Aussie Andy going to be meeting Smokey in this contest. The final championship matchup for the big world title match tonight. As these fans in Mexico City, Mexico seem to love Aussie Andy. Love themselves a little bit of the end from the outback. Aussie Andy. Yeah, and that's going to help him big time here, I believe. Against a man who, again, with over 10 years experience, a decade of experience behind him. A former world champion is Smokey in multiple places. Smokey also a former United States champion in WWE. A new WWE has won a few championships there. Smokey has almost no strength of gold in many, in many leagues that he has competed in. We started in the league FDW, FDW soon or something like that, I believe. Sorry if I'm wrong, I forgot the letters wrong there. But Smokey is starting his own project, restarting it back up. So shout out to Smokey there, who will soon be having his own big events going on. And think Smokey's doing is doing it big. Smokey, All-American Champion, Aussie Andy, the challenger. And this should be an interesting contest here. As Aussie Andy being what will name being an Aussie Latino fan here in Mexico City, Mexico. Not just the Latino fans, fans all around the world. They're came to see Smokey and Aussie Andy battle for the All American title. And he just came to see the North American Wrestling event in Lucha Fiesta. Huge, huge event. You see fans all over the arena here. In the stadium here, I should say. On a beautiful night above us here for this All-American Championship matchup. Asiani, Smokey, Ruffy the Todd, raises the All-American Championship above his head. And here we go, this match is underway. As these two men lock up Smokey, Asiani, and in the rope, so we're gonna get a clean break between these two men. These two men have a lot of respect for each other, we do, but Smokey then, as soon as he comes off the rope, slaps him. I guess Smokey's showing what Smokey's all about sometimes still. Smokey wants to become, wants to retain the All-American Championship here in Mexico City, Mexico. And Smokey. Last time we had seen Smokey, he even a huge win himself. To qualify for the match, then they're going to have the All American Championship matchup. That cage win. Aussie Andy, big back super fork over there. Aussie Andy. Big shot to Smokey's back. Another shot to Smokey's back. DT to Smokey now. Aussie Andy looking to become the All American Champion. Tagging Smokey just viciously here. Big neck breaker right there by Ossiani. Ossiani, big forearm right there. Ossiani now the big boot. Smokey in a bad way right now. 
Right where Annie was wilding with Smokey over there first, whatever Annie has planned. Annie though, the big knee right to the chest of Smokey. Smokey though, stomp, uh, there's a big kick in the midsection followed by a face buster. Nice move by Smokey. Smokey. Smokey now, what's he going for here? Smokey, oh, a spinning cutter right there by Smokey, impressive. And Smokey, wait a second, gets reversed. Asiani, knocks down Smokey, now going after the leg of Smokey. Asiani knows what it takes to win the match. Remember the pub club. Asiani with big uh, drop kick. There's not a, there's not a pub club here in North American Wrestling. There's a pub club in the car world. Come on with Titanium and Tiger Mask. Asiani. Oh, going after the leg now of Ossie Andy is Smokey after Smokey will really get the better of Andy here and knock him down to the ring mat. Once again going after the leg of Ossie Andy is Smokey. Smokey the all the champion. Wait a second, Ossie Andy though, go behind. Ossie Andy picks him up with a shin breaker on a Smokey right there. No, the Aussie Oop nails it! Aussie Oop on the Smokey by Aussie Andy! Aussie Andy now with the cover! Aussie Andy might took too long to fall into the cover one! Oh yes, Smokey kicks out at one and a half! And took a little too long to get into the cover there, I believe. Aussie Andy though picking up Smokey, Aussie Andy now. That's Smokey grabbing him. Brings him against the ropes. What's Ossiani planning here? Ossiani, Irish whip. Tosses Smokey over the top rope, but Smokey holds on to the ring apron and the ropes. Smokey able to, wait a second, Smokey fights his way back in the ring with a running, with, with a springboard shoulder tackle. Good for Smokey. Smokey maybe playing a little bit of possum there in Ossiani. Smokey with a shot to the back. Smokey now. After that shot to the back, looking for a stay off power bomb, nails it, cover by Smokey, one, two, and all, and gets two, referee the Todd says. And good match here so far for the All-American Championship here in Mexico City, Mexico. And Ossie Andy and Smokey fighting each other here. Ossie Andy going for a neck breaker, nails it on the Smokey. Ossie Andy now. We got plan here, DT Smokey down the ring mat. Asiani. Oh, nice big maneuver there by Andy. That neck and chest like maneuver attacked by Andy. Asiani, Russian leg sweep. Asiani. Run, jumping leg drop, brother. Ossiani, jumping knee drop, brother. Ossiani, if you walking away with the All-American Championship in just a few minutes here. Ossiani. What's he gonna do here? Calls this the Aussie boot. Ah, straight, Lee. Ow! Oh my god! And a boot right there! Australia! Cover! One! Two! Now they get two, mate! Now they get two! And if Aussie Andy would have got the cover there, I'm sure he would have had enough to tell everyone tonight. And wait a second! Smokey! Oh! What's the finish? If I never after everything, Smokey able to nail it! One! Two! Oh, oh my god, and he kicks out! This is awesome! What a match! I can't believe it! Both men taking out a just seated to a finishing maneuvers! Smokey on two occasions now! Kicking out of the Aussie, uh, the Aussie open that! The Aussie kick! The Aussie boot! 
Smokey. Goes behind Asiani now. Face Buster. Shades of the Love. Marcus Carter. Elmo Bino match. Smokey. On his feet. Asiani trying to fight back up now. Wait a second. Andy. Rolls over. Oh, that rolling knee into Smokey. Catches him out of nowhere. This could very well be it. Aussie Andy out of nowhere rolling knee. Aussie, this is going to be the Aussie bomb. Nails it. Smokey's down. One, two. No, only got two. Are you kidding me? These fans can't believe it. Andy, on, Andy in disbelief cannot believe what he had just seen. Smokey though once again nails his finisher. Oh my God, we have to go to the replay. Oh my God, how did he get out of that one? Smokey nails his finisher, not for his, not once, twice. This will be a third time if he nails it, he does. He nails his finisher for the third time in this matchup. Smokey, one, two, three. It's over. How did Asi Andy, how did Smokey, how did they go for so long at the eating? So much of each other's punishment. We see here in the replay. Aussie Andy went for the Aussie boot. Smokey and Ellis and Mullen drop at one point in this matchup here in the replays. No matter what though, in the end, Smokey, no matter how close Aussie Andy had claimed to win the All American Championship and a great show by Aussie Andy, Smokey is given the All American Championship by the Todd because he was the better man on this occasion here in Mexico City, Mexico. And Smokey, oh wait a second! What? Who is this? Ottawa? Ottawa? What's Ottawa doing here? What's Ottawa doing? Ottawa's assaulting Smokey with the touch of the ladder. And Ottawa said to him, he deserves a championship shot for what's happened to his people. If you all remember on the Cajun kickoff, he had interrupted the show, unscheduled, came out and announced his championship intentions. And I think he just made it clear what champion he wants to challenge for. He just assaulted Smokey. Wow, Ottawa here in Mexico City, Mexico came to just assault Smokey. And this is it, this is the main event, everybody. This is what we came here for, Lucha Fiesta. Nate Farron, the world heavyweight champion. Extreme Tony, the challenger. Extreme Tony in the land of his people. He is from San Diego, California, but he is a very proud Latin, Latino heritage behind him. As he makes his way down the ring, as you can hear these people are loud and proud for their, for their guy. Extreme Tony, who's sporting a nice black and green look here tonight. I gotta say, he's looking nice, Extreme Tony. The playmaker, Extreme Tony. The challenger for the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Don't forget, the last time Nate Farron had defended the Heavyweight Championship of the world, he did so successfully in a triple threat match against Monster Messiah and Chris Snyder, two men who were kicked out of the building on the kickoff for being too aggressive. Told they were kicked out of Mexico from what I was told. Extreme Tony though, challenging a man, Nate Farron, who's assaulted by a guy who Nate Farron has to only come. Extreme Tony as he prepares for this match against Nate Farron in the ring. As I mentioned, the mercenary is not known by the man coming out to the ring right now. Nate Farron, as he says, could not tell the man who had assaulted him at the end of Cajun last, and the very last event. As Nate Farron, the popular Nate Farron, had done some, has done some questionable tactics, but has some fans here in Mexico City, Mexico North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Nate Farron. But I gotta say, Extreme Tony is gonna be the favorite here in this matchup with these fans. Nate Farron, the North American Elite Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, won that championship from Joe Omega and Biff Andreas in a triple threat match at Rebellion. Nate Farron has been Heavyweight Champion ever since. As Extreme Tony is being announced to this Latino fans, these Lucha Fiesta fans here live, the challenger for the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Extreme Tony, the challenger. Nate Farron, the champion. 
Nate Farron, a very poisonous bee in the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Locker Room because he is the World Heavyweight Champion. He stung quickly when he entered the locker room and he proved it all. Nate Farron, as he hands over the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship to referee the Todd. The Todd showing Extreme Tony what he's fighting for here tonight. That coveted North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship of the world. Only four men have held that championship. Mason Chronic, Nate Farron, Joe Omega, and the suspect. The bell is rung. Extreme Tony looks him, looks him at his name onto the list here tonight of men who are former North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Champions or more men who have won the belt, I should say. As we get a clean, clean break here in the Heavyweight Championship matchup. Nate Farron in the better of Extreme Tony, but no, Extreme Tony. Gardner's across the court like no other, and I, I think like tonight, he's gonna be doing that here tonight. Extreme Tony takes down. Takes down Nate Farron after the wrist lock with a sweep. Extreme Tony now off the Irish whip, back body dropping Nate Farron. Nate Farron able to reverse whatever Extreme Tony was playing there though with a big elbow. Nate Farron sitting at six foot nine. Nate Farron has the height advantage over Extreme Tony definitely. And once again, the referee getting between these two men and we're getting another clean break between these two athletes. Respect to both men here. Shown Extreme Tony and Nate Farron. And once again, is the referee gonna have to get in between these men? Yes, Nate Farron against the ropes now. And another clean break. These men showing great respect here in Mexico City, Mexico. This is for the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. As Nate Farron Extreme Tony once again against the ropes. And once again, referee the Todd asking for another break here. And once again, another clean break by these two men. Extreme Tony now going after the arm. Nice arm ringer on Nate Farron. Arm ringer again. Nate Farron. Oh, and now going after this. Just totally ringing out the arm right there. Extreme Tony now slamming Nate Farron down on the mat. Extreme Tony now attacking the back of Nate Farron here. Wait, Nate Farron though. Able to get to his feet and that big knee to the chest of Extreme Tony. Kicked him in the knee, uh, in the in the abdomen or bread basket, not really the chest. I don't know what I was thinking there. Nate Farron now has Extreme Tony down. Lobbers on him two more times. Nate Farron. Now picks up Extreme Tony running power slam, nails it. Nate Farron almost Extreme Tony almost crashing seven feet down to the ring mat right there because of Nate Farron's height. Attacking Nate, attacking now or on the offense I should say Nate Farron is against Extreme Tony but gets reverse. Extreme Tony now trying to pick up Nate Farron but Nate Farron reverses. And Nate Farron now drags Tony to the middle for a Sidewalk slam, Nate Farron nails it on Extreme Tony. And Extreme Tony now. Down on the mat as Nate Farron striking him on the, striking him. Nate Farron, does he have plans for Tony? Oh, big short arm clothesline right there. Just drew him in and then just hit him with that clothesline. And now elbow to the top of the skull of Extreme Tony. The playmaker, Extreme Tony, down on the mat. Nate Farron picks him up, but gets, gets reversed. Extreme Tony knocks him down with the shoulder tackle. This is for the North American League Wrestling Heavyweight Championship of the World. And oh, great wrestling right there, shown by Nate Farron. And I've mentioned it before, Nate Farron, not their typical six foot nine big guy wrestler. This man trained to be an actual wrestler, and it shows. Barry. Goes behind Extreme Tony, could be going for that accordion rack, backbreaker that he does, nails it! Nate Farron, cover on Extreme Tony. One, two, only gets two here. Nate Farron almost wins the heavyweight, or almost retains the heavyweight championship of the world here in Mexico City, Mexico with that big accordion rack, backbreaker. Nate Farron now picks up Tony here. What's he got planned? He Going for the Irish whip. Nate Farron. Oh, throws Tony up in the air. Nails on it. Catches it by the throat. Choke slam by Farron. One, two. Tony kicks out. Oh, my God. He just got a shoulder up. He just got a shoulder up. 
He just got his shoulder up. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Nate Farron can't believe it. He's in shock. Extreme Tony trying to fight up to his feet. Does so with an elbow to Nate Farron's face, but Nate Farron is whipping Extreme Tony into the turnbuckle now. Nate Farron, what's he got planned for Extreme Tony? Picks him up, places him on the turnbuckle. Nate Farron could be looking for a superplex here. Oh my god, Tony's gonna be like 20 feet in the air! That has to be like 13, 14 feet. Tony's feet, enemy 22. Oh my god. Only got two. Nate Farron. Can't believe it. Goes for a fist drop on Tony. Can't believe the kick out. Nate Farron now. Irish with an extreme. Tony wants to get into another turnbuckle. Nate Farron. Picking up extreme Tony now places the turnbuckle but in the opposite position this time. And Nate Farron, we already seen one sidewalk slam, super sidewalk slam. Wait a second, out of nowhere, the mess, the 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 uh, the what, what what was he going by again? Either way, this unknown assailant just came in the ring with a hammer and just or a bat and attacked the mercenary, attacked extreme Tony with a bat. And then throw out Nate Farron. I'm being told that the referee is giving this decision to Extreme Tony by disqualification. Extreme Tony has won by disqualification using the bad attack by this by this mercenary. This mercenary. As oh my god, we gotta go to the replays. This is the end of the show. Nate Farron is still champion by disqualification. As we see in the replays, Extreme Tony. Nailing the playmaker, I must remind you all that Extreme Tony wins by disqualification. Nate Farron is still champion by disqualification. Good fight. Good night.